this team at fixthemask.com created this DIY method so that you are able to do it at home by using three rubber bands and tie it together to create this brace around the mouth. So what we do is you get two of the rubber bands, you're going to loop it and make a knot out of it by doing this. And you do that similarly to the other side. Like so. What this does is create three holes. The hole in the middle covers around your nose and your mouth, where these is your ear loops. So what it does is makes a tighter wrapping around your mouth so that airborne particles are not able to go in through the sides and underneath your mask. All right, so how you wear the mask is normally you put it over your face like so. Stretch the bottom to cover underneath your chin. And the top part, make sure it's over your bridge and you press in so that it's tight around here. Where you see normally there's a gap here and a gap here that airborne particles can come in. That's where the rubber bands come in to fix that situation. So you have the loops all around your ears and then this part you cover your mouth up. Like so. So different rubber bands have different strength and elasticity. So this one is uh, looser for your ears. So for me, now the seal is a lot tighter around your mouth, similar to an N95, where it's tight around your face and so that you're able to not breathe out through the sides. And you're pulling air only through the mask, which is how an N95 respirator works. To test it, cover your mouth up and breathe. Make sure you're breathing through just the mask and not through the sides, not getting oxygen to those sides. Adjust it in a mirror so know where your rubber band is. To make sure that the seal is only around the face. You can use also a safety pin if you don't like it through your ear loops. You can tie it around and use a safety pin for the back of the head or through a headband as well. And this is how you fix the mask. That's it.